A North Haven family turns to News 8 for help after the town tells them they have to get rid of their daughter's pet rabbit. A bunny is at the center of a brouhaha in North Haven. The town says a third grader can't keep the animal as a pet because of zoning regulations. So that family turned to News 8 claiming the law is outdated. News 8's Aaron Cox will look for answers on why a rabbit that's been a pet for three years is now being ordered removed. Seven-year-old Caden considers pet bunny Sandy her best friend. She lays with me in bed sometimes. And it's one big bunny, a giant Flemish weighing over 20 pounds. But it's not the size of the rabbit, rather the size of the family's property. That has the town of North Haven saying the animal must be removed from the Susan Lane home. I don't want the bunny to come. A cease and desist order was issued last month informing the family zoning laws do not allow livestock nor rabbits on lots under two acres. And before that, a citation for violating the blight ordinance, not only because of an unfinished overhang, but also because of the bunny cage. The family reaching out to News 8 because Sandy has been a pet for three years. A bunny is not a violent animal. A bunny is not a, a violent dog or a, or a violent cat or a rabid animal. It's a caged creature that all it does is give love to our family. So what happens now? The family will keep Sandy the bunny while it appeals this decision. But if it loses at that level, the town attorney tells me it could trigger a superior court action enforcing removal of the animal. I would love to keep the bunny. I would love to keep my family happy and, and the town just let us live our life and pay our taxes. Dad has tried to explain the zoning laws to Caden, but the third grader just wants officials to let her keep her furry friend. I'd say don't give my bunny away because she's my best friend. In North Haven, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.